Oh, hello! Welcome to my crib! <laughs> or if you're new then hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kate and we have undergone a house renovation we started last year in May the beginning of May and the structural work took till about August or September and then we continued with other rooms decorating pretty much up until now even this morning we've been adding final touches and it always feels like it's going to be a work in progress so this definitely is by no means the final reveal I'm going to go through all of the rooms show you what they were like before and what they're like now I'll probably tell you along the way little bits that we want to add or change um, but yeah I really hope you enjoy it if you haven't subscribed I'd love for you to come and join us just click the subscribe button in the description box below and without further ado let's get into the video so as you can see we're in the hall Way. this is one of the only spaces that hasn't really changed too much or changed changed its use um, still the hallway but one thing that has changed as you'll be able to see from the before clips is we opened up this doorway because the vision was to be able to see from the front door right the way through down to the garden so we'll go through into the main space that we renovated in a bit but I just wanted to show you the hallway first if we just swing back around here, this is our console table that me and my dad built. Let's just be honest, it was like 95% my dad, but I had the design idea and then we kind of like bashed it up together and um, stained it. It's looking a little bit orange. We do still want to do some bits of work to it to make it more of a neutral colour, but these are the things that just take time. So then let's go into the first room that I want to show you because this is the, one of the most exciting ones to reveal because when you see the before, the difference is insane because it's a completely different room. It feels like to me we've grown the room. So before this was our downstairs toilet, um, left a lot to be desired, but it was very nice to have one after not having one in our previous house. So this is what it was like before. So this is now our snug. As you can see, it's definitely a lot bigger than it was. So this little space that was about here from this pillar to about there was a toilet and sink. Um, but we knocked this out and behind that was our kitchen, which you used to get round to round there, which I'll show you in a sec. There was the doorway here and then I, I just can't believe this was our old kitchen. Um, and we've transformed it into this really lovely snug. It's the perfect size for us. It's a bit of a playroom. They've got their keyboard in here. They've got their toys. All these cupboards are full of toys, so that's brilliant storage. Um, and then we can put all that away. The majority of it goes away, and as you can see right now, it becomes a nice sort of cosy, grown-up room that we can watch TV in the evenings. Rick goes on it on his game, the boys' game in here, and I just love it so much. Um, so I'll tell you a bit about a few of the things in this room. I've got this unit that my Surprise, surprise, Dad built. This is painted in the colour Treron. I'll try and leave all of the colours of everything in the description box below for you. Um, and all my little bits and bobs are from charity shops, boot fairs, my shop Murray, vintage shops, vintage markets, all over the place, home sense, that kind of thing. I found these gorgeous little um, chairs in home sense and they're really small, but they're the perfect accent chairs for this room and they worked out really well. And then we have our snug big chill sofa here. Um, we actually converted this from our one in there, which I'll show you in a sec. It's a bit difficult to explain, but I'm going to do a reel about that soon. As you might be able to see, the one thing we want to do in here is actually paint or wallpaper the top of the wall, just to give it a little bit more coziness and warmth. And then it will make our prints that we have up here really stand out. So these gorgeous prints are from Decenio. I absolutely love them because they're simple, but I love the fact that they give the wall a bit of texture. They're so, so pretty, but I just think they need to be on a darker background to really pop out. So Decenio is very kindly sponsoring this little section of the video. We've actually had Decenio prints in our home for years and years and years. We love them. They have a huge variety, like even more since our last home. We've only just started putting our art and stuff up and photographs and things. Um, so when I went on their website, the choice is just incredible. They have something for everyone, whatever your style is, whether it's more um, vintage or traditional or like contemporary modern. 
or if you love real bright pops of colour or you want to do a nursery, there's just so much for everyone. So we've got this one up here which I love, it's like a silhouette of the back of a woman, uh, like with a drapey dress or a, or a sheet or something, I just think that's really pretty. And even though it's a print, it almost looks like it's been done with um, paint or some kind of like textured filler or something to create the art. Um, I love that. And then along the same lines, we have this one, which is like leaves. And then this one is a feather. And I think they look really, really, really beautiful together. I've got a few more Desenio prints that I want to show you as we go around. But I wanted to give you this code because I know a lot of people um, are always after a discount code from Desenio because it's a great time to grab your favourite prints. So the code KMANAME will get you 45% off prints and 10% off frames. I'll leave all of the details for this in the description box below for you. These frames are also from Desenio as well and I just love the dark colour of them. Sorry if you can hear Finley in the background, we've obviously got him at home with us and he's just trying to destroy all the hard work we've done in making the house tidy. Yes. So I'm going to take you next into what was the office but is now the boot room. I feel very strange saying that because having a boot room doesn't feel like something I would ever have had. But I'm really glad the way we configured the space we were able to get this. So let's go and have a look in the boot room. But this is what the office looked like before. <laughs> you a cup of tea or coffee. What we did is I asked my dad to do this panelling. You'll see this in most rooms in different ways. I am a bit of a panelling fan. Um, so we've got the panning and the peg rail which I really love as well and then it's got a bit of a ledge up here to put bits on and then the bench I really wanted because I thought it'd be obviously a great place for people to sit and put their shoes on but we made it fairly high so that we could create some space under here for everyone's shoes. Now, excuse the mess, but I will show you what it's like. We've got Ricky's, we've got the boys, and we've got mine. So here are our shoe drawers. And then I actually wrapped the top of this myself with a wood effect vinyl. And I'm quite proud of myself for doing that. This area here we had made, um, and the great thing about having it bespoke made by dad was the fact that when we were planning it, I knew I wanted four baskets here, so I found the baskets before I had him make the shelves, so we could almost make it fit perfectly like that. And these were from TK Maxx. Um, and then I will show you in here, even though it is a mess, we had these wardrobe style cupboards made for coats. We're not using this as much at the moment because it's boiling hot here. Thank God we don't need coats at the moment. Thank you, Finley. You've shown it off for me. We we found our highest pair of wellies and we had it sort of made to the height of that. It's quite muddy under there, but it's fantastic storage space. And then finally, I'm a bit scared to look in this one. This is the boys' kind of coats and school bags and stuff cupboard. Uh, oh, it's not as bad as I thought. The shoes are quite bad, but I, I need to organise that a little bit, but you get the gist. It's a really, really great space. And then we painted the walls in Farrow and Ball Old White. And the white paint is called, it's confusing because this is called Old White, it's not white at all. And then the white colour is called Pointing by Farrow and Ball. But as I said, I'll leave all the colours below. Oh, and I've got a little Desenio print here as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that it looks like it's almost been um, like painted onto linen. It's really pretty. But any questions about where anything's from, if I don't mention it, please ask me in the comments and I'll try and get back to everybody. Okay, let's go through to what is now our downstairs shower room. So we'll just quickly show you, even though it's looking a little bit dark at this time of the day. Our stairs go up here. Um, we've got a gate on it at the moment, which previously the dog destroyed. So we need to sand that back and repaint that. And then this is an understairs cupboard, which I am actually not gonna go into because it's bad. I need to organize it. Rick who's behind the camera right now, has chucked all his golf, golf stuff in Come there. Come on, show us. I'll give you a really quick glimpse. Ah! <laughs> it's bad, but it's a really good space as well. That's one thing we just try to get as much storage as possible. So obviously with three kids, we have a lot of mess a lot of the time. So if there's a place for everything to go, it helps us keep it more tidy. But with that being said, I do just want to say that our house never looks this neat or tidy. We've tidied up and cleaned for so long this morning. Um, 
this is just what it would look like in my ideal world but please do not think that we are able to keep our house like this all the time because we don't um just wanted to quickly mention that you'll probably see what it normally looks like in all of our vlogs if you watch them so if you're new around here and you want to see a bit more reality watch the vlogs because there's mess everywhere but anyway let's go this way before i show you in the main bit of the room so this used to be our utility room before obviously we had the downstairs toilet which was good but we were able to get a shower in here which i'm really pleased about we've got this lovely vanity sink um and we've got this area with the lights which i was really pleased about something we do need to do is repaint this because it just wasn't fully done and we haven't got around to doing it but that does need a touch up and then we've got more paneling in here this is fire and ball french gray i love this color it's actually green um and this brass towel row is one of my favorite things as well and we've got more decennio prints up here so um i think these are absolutely beautiful i love these little works of art with the um, text on it as well one thing that i really do need to get for you here and i've been saying it for ages but i just haven't made a decision is a blind um so i've been looking at different fabrics maybe you can tell me which kind of one you like the best um but yeah, I'm obviously thinking maybe like a leafy green or a brownie colour. Just as a little linen Roman blind up there, which will really finish off the bathroom, uh, the shower room nicely. Our only door into the kitchen previously was through this utility room. And then the door was, was it about here? Yeah. Struggle to remember now. So yeah, that's what the layout we <laughs> used to be like. And that's how you'd get into the kitchen. So that's why it was behind the old downstairs toilet and one more thing before i show you the main part of the extension again messy cupboard and now finn's gonna want to get in here but this is where we keep all of the kids and ours um games board games crafts pens paper um and then just general stuff that we don't want them to just have constantly like slime and play-doh and bubbles and, and stuff we obviously didn't want to paint the inside of that door oh did yeah we've still got to paint that see <laughs> there's still loads to do so let's go through to the main what do we call this the main Living space the main space the extension <laughs> much so i think what i'll do if you'd like to see it let me know is a full in-depth kitchen um tour and then i can tell you more about it show you all the drawers and cupboards and where we keep everything and all the storage solutions but i won't do that in this video today i'll just let you know that the kitchen was from diy kitchens um, and we painted the island ourselves although all of the wall units and all around here are in the color muscle by um, diy Ow. kitchens and I just absolutely adore it. It's my biggest dream ever come true to have a kitchen with an island. I've honestly wanted since I was a child, which is probably not normal, but it's it was my dream. I absolutely love these lights, which were an absolute bargain that I found on Amazon. I'm so glad I went for those. Um, yeah, I could go on forever about this kitchen, but I might save that for a separate video, like I said. So the area that I haven't shown as much because we've only recently got it more to a semi-finished state is this side of the room. So this was the side that we already had. So this was our living room previously. Um, and now it's the living dining space in this whole room. So previously when we first did it, we had this swap. So the sofa was this side, the dining table was that side, which is why we've got a big chandelier above the sofa area. We're still not 100% which <laughs> did it <hurt? laughs> still not 100 which configuration we like best. But the thing I like about it is that we can swap it when we feel like it. Um, that's why we went for the telly in the middle above the mantel piece. 
because we can we can swap it out if we want to and bring the sofa back over here and put the dining table over there. Over here we've got like more built-in cabinetry that my dad did and I'm always faffing about and changing it again I'll probably never be completely happy with how it looks I know there's definitely things on there that I want to change but we're, I'm gradually getting there to be able to style all of this you have to get things gradually I think and things that you really love over time so it's a work in progress one thing I do eventually want to change is the table whether we um, sand it back to just get rid of this yellowy colour Your toys are down there yeah. or we eventually replace it I don't know but I want to do something a little bit different here maybe have a rug under the um, dining room table so this will change up a bit um, and then again if you come over here we've got the mantle which wasn't there before it's obviously not real but I really like it especially in the autumn winter it's super cozy and we've got our log burner situation we need to get a half is it like a you know, like a marble or concrete or something that goes at the bottom of that. But again, it's something we haven't got around to yet. And then we've got this area, which again, it's still a work in progress. I'm thinking of repainting this. This is just a canvas that I still need to paint. Um, so that just looks kind of like nothing at the moment. And then our sofa area, which I absolutely love. We've got this rug from, I think it was from Rug Vista. And our sofa from snug we had this previously and it was one section bigger but the great thing about snug is that you can they're modular so we took off the double two-seater sofa that was on here and we put that in the um snug snug and snug that's getting very confusing but we took a section off to create a sofa in there and then we added on a one-seater so we made it a little bit smaller which fitted the room better but it's still a really, really lovely sofa area for the whole family to sit and watch movies and relax. One thing I've been asked about quite a lot when I've shown the house on my Instagram especially is the flooring. We were really um, worried that we would pick the wrong colour, um, but I'm so, so pleased with how this has turned out. So this is LVT flooring by Candine. It's in the colour Canadian Urban Oak, and we've had it in such a big space, so through the whole hallway, um, and all the way through that um, we really wanted to get it right and I'm so happy with the tone of it it's not grey but it's not orange it's not yellowy it's just the perfect light oak wood colour and we went for LVT because it's obviously really hard wearing um, it's great for families it's easy to keep clean it's scratch resistant it's just kid proof basically so it is absolutely fantastic the other thing i wanted to show you which i don't know how well will come out if i stand here because we're backlit but i kind of have to show you this way is our sliding doors we undenied for so long about whether we would get bifolds or sliders and i know it's one of those things that people usually love one or the other there are lots of reasons why we chose the sliders instead of bifolds but i won't get into that debate right now but we love them. The one thing we are really keen to get is that, like I said, that full, I've, I've watched too many like Grand Designs and George Clark and things like that, but like it's that line of sight from the door all the way down to the back. And when we've done the garden, you can also see right onto the field as well. It's such an incredible view. Um, so having this one big pane in the middle was perfect for us. And then we also have the skylights up here which just help to bring so much lovely light into the room. They do need to clean, but it's not that easy to clean the skylights we found. <laughs> um, so, the rooms through here were actually our old garage, which we converted and sort of incorporated into the house. I'm so pleased we did this. We were actually gonna reconfigure the house in a different way, which again, I won't go into right now because I feel like I'm rambling on a bit, but it would have meant that we didn't use this space for um, a utility room and an office, it would have become part of the kitchen diner. And although the back of the house would have been humongous and very, like, very beautiful, it, we didn't actually feel like it was the best use of space in the end. So I definitely think we made the right decision. So let's go through to the utility room. Yeah, Ricky's just made a good point actually. The little square that I'm standing in here is actually the only part that wasn't part of the garage or the previous house. So, You're standing in part of the garden. Yeah, this was the garden. So although so much has changed, 
The extent, extension wise, it was only small, but then obviously the garage was kind of rebuilt and then a proper roof put on, so it was a huge job. But we didn't have a massive footprint added onto the house, if that makes sense. We just more reconfigured it to work best for us as a family. If we go through here as well, my dad did some more panelling for me here. This was just a blank white wall before, and I feel like this added some more interested, interested? <laughs> interest and allowed me to also add some of my, what would you call it? Flair? My flair? Yeah. I thought we were going to call it crap. We could call it flair. So there you go. Finn's come along with his shopping trolley, so he's going to help us out in, in here, obviously. It's so exciting to have this uti utility room. Obviously, we had the little one before, but as it was the entrance into the kitchen, it just always made everything look so messy, because, like I said, this is never this tidy. But even though it's a utility room, it's just a functional room, I wanted to still make it look as beautiful as possible. We've got the sink area over here, which is really nice to be able to look out of the garden. And it's also a really good sink to do like more messy jobs, like clean football boots, which I do all the time, um, and messy, messier things and keep that one a little bit nicer. And then this is our sort of row of units here. Eventually, I'd love to get an integrated um, dryer like the washing machine is, but we have no need to change this dryer for now. We do have the cupboard door for it. To be fair though, to that dryer, We've had it a lot yeah. of years. Yeah. We don't want to get rid of it just for the sake of it, but we have the integrated door for when this one day gives up, and then I, I'm going to have like this all integrated. But for now, it's totally fine. And then we just got like my little faffy bits again. Well, there's a washing basket, little bits and bobs. I just love finding random things and then putting them out and moving them around. It's just like one of my biggest joys in life. So that's all of this. But it's practical as well. It's got like the dog food and dog treats in here, like string and bits, um, matches and fabric softeners and scent boosters and all that kind of thing. So I really need to organise these, but... <laughs> Good catch. But this is where we keep the ironing boards and other bits and bobs, like hoovers and stuff that really need to play. Let's close that. I didn't show you the doors either. I absolutely no. love these doors. They're so beautiful. We've got one on here and one on the office. Yeah, talk about the back door. Oh, and the back door, sorry, we've got three. Yeah, I love this back door as well because um, it's a stable door. So we can have this open. Um, it's just lovely. Just really like that feature. Finn's in the office doing some hard work. So this is the room that I'm just not gonna to show too much of, mainly because it's a mess, but also because I have some work stuff in here that I can't really show yet. I sound like such an idiot saying that, but it's true. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of it and then eventually I will show you when it's clearer. But this is the side of the room where I film my like fashion content and reels and stuff. And I also have my Muro dresses over here. So for anyone that's new or doesn't know, um, I have a brand called Muro and we sell jewellery and we've just launched our first collection of dresses. So we also sell homeware, so it's like a lifestyle store. I recently got this beautiful um, clothing rack from Dunelm and I'm going to use it in sort of the background of my videos. And as you can see behind that, all of the walls are panelled. So the whole room is like that. And then that side of the room is full of boxes, packaging stuff, flowers. It's a little bit crazy right now. The last thing I've got to show you down here is the garden. Now this really is a work in progress. The only thing we've really finished out there so far is the front patio area. I have so many plans for out there. Um, but I'll leave that for another video to explain those to you more. I, I have explained them in a recent vlog actually. But anyway, there's loads to do out there. Please excuse the mess, um, but you'll get the general, general vibe of it. So one of the most recent jobs that was finished was the patio. It took my dad and Rick so long. I think it was a much bigger job than they were expecting, but it looks beautiful. Really, really love it. Um, the tiles are from walls and floors and I will link again all of this in the description box below because I can't remember the exact name of the tile but it's a really really beautiful porcelain tile um, yeah it's just created a nice area up here it's quite cool um, in this area and then the sun as the day goes on comes out more over here we've got like an egg chair and little area over there and then like I said as we go along We'll do more to the garden to make it more our style. It definitely needs a good um, 
trim. <laughs> so that's the downstairs house tour. I hope you enjoyed coming around with me. I honestly can't express how happy I am with this space, how grateful I am that it all came together. And the months and months of hard work by everyone involved, my dad, the builders, Rick, and even the kids for putting up with the house being a building site for months and months and months. They did so well and it was completely worth it in the end. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll be sure to update you as we do more things, we change stuff, there'll be some DIYs coming up. So don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of thing um, for more videos and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye guys.